For the past couple of years, Nothing, along with their CMF sub-brand, have made some of my favorite and, in my opinion, some of the best Bluetooth wireless earbuds in the business. You want a top 10 pair of buds for around 150 bucks? They got you covered. Only have $40 to burn? They have you covered there, too. But something Nothing hasn't tried yet is their hand at producing an open earbud. But that all changes with the release of the ear opens. Ear open. Is it open or opens? I always struggle with this because there's two of them. Now, I'm getting there. now, if you aren't familiar with the concept of an open earbud, you are in luck because I'm going to explain exactly what this means. And if you are familiar with the open earbud form factor, then feel free to use the included timestamps to skip to the next part of the video. So convenient. Traditional earbuds rest on the bottom of or just inside your ear canal. Open earbuds have loops or hooks that go around behind the ear and hold your bud just outside the ear canal while shooting sound into your ear. And this design does come with some advantages, probably the biggest of which is you can always hear what is going on around you, without the need of a battery draining hear through or transparency mode. But there are other pros as well, like not having to uncomfortably poke the buds deeper into your ears whenever you want to use the touch controls, or ever having to worry about the buds falling out of your ears while working or jamming out. They can also be a really nice option for people who have issues with inner ear fatigue or just have trouble finding comfortable fitting traditional earbuds. Oh, and it also makes sharing your earbuds a little less gross. Now the biggest drawback of an open ear design and the lack of a proper ear seal is there is no real active or even passive noise cancellation. Sound quality and volume will also normally take a hit, although these buds still sound pretty good. The sound isn't as loud or as hard hitting as you would find on a high-end pair of traditional Bluetooth buds, but it's also closer than you would probably think. The ear open produce a very pleasant, clear, and balanced sound that can be ideal for listening to audiobooks and podcasts. For my music listeners out there, there isn't a ton of bass, but there is some low end to be found. And while this might leave some audiophiles or bass mongers a little wanting, I myself am a heavy music listener and I found the sound to be more than adequate for my workout sessions, especially after making the desired audio adjustments using the Nothing X Companion app, which has the same simple and advanced equalizer found on the Nothing non-open ears, the latter of which gives you exceptionally detailed control of your sound sound stage, though the buds are missing the traditional ear's amazing personal sound profile feature. The buds definitely don't get as loud as some traditional high-end earbuds, and if I'm being honest, for me, this is the biggest audio trade-off. If I had to quantify it, I would say they get around 70% as loud as my second-gen AirPods Pro, and about 60% as loud as the 2024 ear non-opens. But once again, unless you are an audiophile or someone who finds themselves often using their buds in loud environments, the sound will probably be loud enough for most. However, even though the sound entering your ears isn't as loud with the open, the sound they produce is still quite loud. And because the speakers sit outside the ear canal, it is possible at higher volumes for people to hear what or who you are listening to. And speaking of who, when you do want to communicate with another human, you shouldn't have any issues because column mic quality is quite good. Now that we have the audio quality assessment out of the way, here are the rest of the good things you need to know about these buds rapid fire style. The buds weigh just over 8 grams and I found them to be quite comfortable to wear for longer periods. They have IP54 splash and dust resistance, fully customizable controls, and I found the controls themselves to be easy to locate and the presses are consistently recognized. There's Bluetooth 5.3, dual connection multi-point pairing, a low lag mode for gaming, a find my earbuds feature that caused the buds to loudly chirp on command, the earlier mentioned companion app is available on both the Google Play and Apple App Stores, and you can expect to get 8 hours of playback per charge and up to 30 hours with the case. And last but not least, of all the open earbuds I have tested, these are definitely the easiest to take off and on. Sweet! Now in case you couldn't tell already, I actually do really like these buds. Thank you, Captain Obvious. But obviously no product is perfect and there are some less than great things you need to know about these buds as well. Bring it on. While the buds can certainly be worn with glasses, it can make taking the buds off and on a little more challenging. The ability to access ChatGPT through touch and voice controls is only available when paired with a Nothing phone. There's no in-ear detection, and there is no wireless charging, which is a bit of a bummer at this price point. And speaking of price, you can grab these buds off of Nothing's website and the Zon for 149 bucks. And while that price is less than what you will pay for a lot of other premium buds, they are not cheap. And whether or not you think these buds are worth that price will most likely come down to your use cases. If you are someone who really values top end or bass heavy audio or often has a need for active or even passive noise cancellation, clearly you should look elsewhere. For example, for around the same money, you can grab the non-open Nothing Ears, which have both excellent audio quality and ANC. But if you are someone who always likes to be able to hear what is going on around you, or you just don't like the fit and feel of traditional earbuds, then I think the Nothing Ear Opens are definitely worth your consideration. I'll think about it. 
Well, that's all the information I have for one day. If you wind up picking up a pair of these buds, please feel free to come back here and leave your experience down in the comments. That way we can all continue to learn from each other and make more informed buying decisions. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.